G'day folks, and today we're going to look at washing machines, or more importantly a Fisher Paykel smart drive that Brad gave me. Uh, one of his mates was moving house and had to get rid of it, and I think it's got a busted agitator. Uh, first I just thought I'd show my old one, it's an old American General Electric. I don't know how old it is, it's probably a lot older than I am. Uh, it's been working fine. I've always used it, got a load in there right now to go out. Heavy duty one, a bit banged up, but... There's nothing wrong with them. Only thing I've done is replace the water pump. That water pump is from a um, Braemar or Brivus or something or other evaporative air conditioner. It's just a water circulation pump. So I'm surprised it's doing so well with all that lint and crap going through it. But that's the only thing that was wrong with it. It's an old belt driven AC motor, induction motor, nothing special. And it still keeps going. Touch wood, it hasn't leaked yet. Like a lot of the old ones do their drum spindle seals and things. But next we'll look at something fairly modern, which are also a piece of crap if you ask me, but I don't know, it's a washing machine. They all look the same to me anyway. Okay, and this is the very modern one with its replacement agitator. Uh, it's Fisher Paykel Smart Drive 701. They're pretty cheap, nasty things. The control panel's breaking apart on top, it's all delaminating. The buttons are a proper push button though, so it's not one of those membrane pads that breaks after you pierce it. Plastic's broken, agitator's been repaired, it looks like they've tied strips of plastic onto it with a boot lace, and that's failed. You get down in there and undo that nut and lift it off. They're not hard to fix. There's only one moving part, and that's the spindle. Yeah, someone's tried to fix it with bits of plastic. And that's the main seal down in there. Got a water pump, and the main smart drive motor. There's really nothing to them. Nothing at all. I'll have to take it out back and plug it into the main tap and just give it a run. Find a hole. There we go. Easy fix. So do the nut up. That one's full of muck and mould. Give it a wash first. Okay, welcome to Ed's Backyard Laundry. We've got some dirty coveralls. Bit of soap powder in there. I think this thing's set right. A lot of lights on. Um, yeah, I think it's just press power. Oh, no, sorry. Reset. I'm going to press start, not power. Cold. Makes a bit to program these things. Past high water level. Yeah, it doesn't even bloody um, let you add clothes while it's filling. Damn safety devices. Oh. Let it do its thing. Yeah, it is spinning though while it's filling. <laughs> yeah, hot valve's leaking. That's not good. Pulse the program and find it. Now what? Uh, stop program. Yeah, it's not letting me stop it. There we go. Yeah, let's find a cap for that. Yeah, the motors in these things are quite impressive in the way that they can uh, use them as generators and things. Being direct drive DC, it's got a little, like a BFD driving it. It's a permanent magnet stator, or rotor, sorry, with a fixed stator. And it, um, 
Yeah, it runs three phases. It's like an emulated three-phase motor, but it uses DC, 600 volts. So, yeah. Not a bad thing. It's a shame they leak, though. What happens is water leaks down into the motor and gets onto the hole sensors, and it can also arc 600 volts back to the hole sensors, which also blows the inverter drive. So they can self-destruct pretty bad when the drum fields go. It's working alright though. Yeah, this is the twin smart drive setup I made a while ago. I haven't had much time to play around with this sort of thing, but I will soon. Uh, these choke coils and things are out of a VSD, that's a three-phase rectifier. I want to feed the three-phase from one of these into a DC rectifier brick like this one here and see what I get out of it. It's also got a little suppression device and cap on it. A one microfarad, 1,000 volt polyfilm cap, and whatever that semicron package is. Oh, no, Sem Siemens SIOV B32S460A. I'm not sure what that is. It could just be a suppressor. But that's the same motor as what's in the machine at the moment. Seems to be working all right. Just starting to wind up. I don't like when you do that. Okay, well that passed completely. I ran fine. Everything's clean and well spun. Done. It's a good one to keep. Thanks for watching.